Hi everyone, for those of you who don't know me yet, my name is Oshin and I'm the Chief Exec at Outhouse LGBTQ Plus Centre. Every couple of months I record a short video to keep you all updated on the progress of our new strategic plan space for all. I think firstly, following the horrific incident in Dublin on Thursday the 23rd of November, uh, my and the whole team's hearts are with those who've been attacked, their families, friends, the school community at Gwaelskol Chalash de Wirra, witnesses, first responders, and anyone else who's been affected. Um, we extend our heartfelt sympathy at this difficult time to those who've been affected and wish for full recovery to all those who've been injured. Um, on that same day, a small group exploited uh, this tragic event to orchestrate violence and chaos in Dublin's city centre. Uh, the repercussions have left many in our community in a state of fear and anxiety. I've written extensively for Gay Community News in the December issue about the spread of hate in our society and the work that we here at Outhouse and our partners in LGBT Ireland and the Hope and Courage Collective and many, many others in civil society are doing in response. Um, in traditional fashion, I'll bring you through the pillars of the strategy um, and give you a couple of updates since my last video a few months ago. In the connection space, uh, we're really excited to see that our various social groups have continued to go from strength to strength. Um, I'm excited that the Outhouse Book Club will be returning in January. If you're an avid reader and you'd like to join the book club, you can sign up online uh, on the webpage for our library at outhouse.ie. We're launching the search for some facilitators for a new Rainbow Families social group, which will be opening up in early in the new year. Keep an eye on the socials uh, for a link to express your interest in participating and leading that group. In the whole area of community support, I'm really excited to share that we've brought forward some of our plans, uh, brought them forward three years. Um, and we're currently in the process of recruiting staff to expand our support services. And early in the new year, we're going to be opening a new dedicated one-to-one -one support service for LGBTQ plus adults who need extra help. We're also going to be expanding the range of social groups and peer support groups on offer here at the centre. So if you have any ideas for a social group or a peer support group or a peer support space you think needs to exist, please get in touch with us here at the centre. In the whole area of culture, uh, November saw Art House, our flagship fundraising art auction, return for another year. An absolutely massive thank you to all of the artists who partnered with us this year, to our buyers for purchasing the wonderful art, our volunteers for all their hard work in making it happen, and to everyone who helped to make it successful and ensure that we have the funding we need to deliver on our vision, which is a world where LGBTQ plus people are safe, seen and celebrated. I'm so thankful to you all uh, for helping us with that. Um, campaigns, um, you know, kind of... October and November of this year, one in 10 people who contacted us looking for help or support uh, were facing homelessness or were at risk of it. Um, and this isn't the first time we've come across this. We recognise the urgency of this earlier in the year and we convened a multi-stakeholder group comprising LGBT organisations, homeless service providers, the HSE and the Dublin Regional Homeless Executive. And this group that we've created uh, aims to establish dedicated emergency accommodation tailored to the unique and intersecting needs of queer people who find themselves homeless or at risk of homelessness. Over the last year, we've made some very significant progress uh, and that's culminated in drafting a, a, an initial or draft service design. And the next crucial step in this process involves consulting with LGBTQ plus people who have first-hand experience of emergency accommodation and homeless services or who are at risk of homelessness. Your input or those who've lived this experience as input is essential to ensuring that the plans we're creating are comprehensive and fit for purpose. So if you have lived through homelessness and you wish to contribute to shaping the design of dedicated emergency accommodation and homeless services for LGBTQ plus people, please reach out to me. You can send me an email at homelessness at outhouse.ie to share your insights and participate in this transformative initiative. And I'll be inviting some people to come to various roundtable meetings and otherwise early in the new year. 
In the capability space, uh, we promised as part of our strategy to stay relevant to everyone in the LGBT community by carrying out an annual survey to help us plan our future and measure progress on implementing parts of the strategy. Uh, this year's survey is live and emphasises diversity, equity and inclusion here at the centre. Your input and feedback will help us craft a plan to improve diversity, equity and inclusion uh, in all of our work and in the physicality of the space of the centre and will help ensure that we're serving all of our communities as best as we can. So please share your thoughts with us. You can complete the survey online on our website www.outhouse.ie forward slash survey hyphen 2023. The survey should take about five to seven minutes to complete and I'd really appreciate it if you could take a couple of minutes. I'm also delighted to say that we've completed uh, the first phase of building improvement work here uh, in Outhouse in October. Uh, this involved updating electrical and IT systems, upgrading our cafe kitchens so that we can work towards expanding our menu offering next year, replacing the ground floor windows, helping to create a more warm, welcoming environment and crucially restoring the historic fa facade of 105 Cable Street. And this is the first of many improvements that we have planned over the next few years and definitely not the last. Lastly, I want to thank each and every one of you for your support, encouragement and generosity throughout the last year. Together we are building a future where LGBTQ plus people are safe, seen and celebrated. And I'm so grateful to all of you for your help, support, guidance, advice and passion and energy. I want to take a moment to wish each and every one of you a very peaceful Christmas and a very happy new year. Uh, Slán go fóill.